Joe, just another opening day here in yeah. San Diego. Your emotions, how are you feeling for this one? Yeah, super excited, man. Um, I think the fan base is really excited about it. I think having Peter's um, ceremony the other day, getting to you know share some some stories about him and just kind of remember what he started here. I think it's kind of motivated and inspired everybody a little more. I know everyone likes to make a big deal out of one out of 162, but what is special about opening day, especially for you here in your hometown? Yeah, I mean, they're limited. You only get so many of these. And you're lucky to get one in your career. Um, I'm heading on number eight, so I'm very fortunate. And, I, you know, don't take any of these things for granted. You know, there's going to be a day that comes when you don't get the opportunity to suit up on opening day anymore. And uh, I'm not looking forward to that, so I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can while I got it. I know you mentioned Peter there. What is his presence throughout this season going to mean to you guys, having that P.S. on the jersey, all of that? Yeah, I think wearing that P.S. on the heart is a constant reminder of, you know, who he was for the city, who he was to his family, and, you know, the guys in this room and the opportunity that he created here for us. So. Um, you know, like I said the other day, it's something that we think about every time we put these jerseys on, and we're going to make sure that we do right by him. Were you here 20 years ago today for opening day? Um, yeah, probably. I think uh, those first three seasons in Petco was like 04, 05, and 06. I think we had season tickets out in right field, so not good at math off the top of my head, but I feel like I probably was here about 20 years ago, yeah. And I see you wearing the San Diego State jersey. Uh... Yeah, I'm very excited for tonight, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very excited. Hopefully they can shoot the three ball the way they did the other day, but uh, UConn's a tough team, so they're going to need their best. What are your thoughts on the NL West in general? It's competitive. I mean, I was talking to somebody about this last night. I think baseball in general has gotten you know more competitive. There's used to be you know three, four teams that you can see you know having a real shot at winning a World Series, and now you look around the league and there's you know two, three teams in each division. So um, this division has become one of the most competitive in baseball. I think it was talked about that the you know. The uh, AL East was one of the most competitive, and I feel like we're up in that realm too with you know the firepower that all these teams got, and they keep adding. So, what about this? What about this year's team feels different from the very talented team you guys had last season? Um, I think the collection of guys. I think we're a more well-rounded team. I think we got some role players. We got some young talent that's you know fiery and brings a little bit more passion to the group. Um, I think the way that our staff has run this thing, especially Shilty from the top down, has you know done a really good job of communicating things and. Um, you know, keeping his door open and giving us a chance to go in there and discuss some things. And he's very open about, you know, bring things to me. You know, I think everyone needs to be checked. And if there's things that are going on that you don't like or that, you know, you don't see, you know, fitting into the schedule that how you want it, just come talk to me. It doesn't mean that we're going to have power to go in there and say how things should be done, but he wants an open line of communication. I think that's really important. And how strange to have Paul Milvin on the other side today. Yeah, it's I mean, cool, cool reunion for him. I know he's probably excited to be back and, um, and see San Diego again. We're excited to play against him, but ultimately it's baseball and it's competition, so we're going to give it to him.